All righty ho. So today's the 2nd of June, right? Let's take a look at what happened with before and afters with our 1st of June astro technical analysis. Now, on the 1st of June, I said these are the hours where I'm expecting the market to turn. If it matches our technical analysis price, we turn around, right? So let's take a look at what happened. Let's start off with gold as usual. Oh, look at this beauty. Now, yesterday, this is what happened. Now, remember this stone was a target. And on the daily we had, on the PST, we had these PST levels, right? So those PST levels were from 1829 onwards, right? 1829 and slightly below, all right? So what happened? The market comes down into that zone. At what time? Take a guess. That's 12 o'clock. That's one o'clock market opens there at one o'clock as you can see 106 slight dip down and then market goes up into 430 and that is four o'clock bar as you can see it makes a top and look at that it makes a top at that bar and does not go higher and starts to pull down and i've said here it's going to be volatile towards 8 30 to 11 40 as you can see this volatility towards that time period has happened and then this is eight o'clock and this is 10 and that's 11 40 there so you can see that 8 30 is clean cut as well market goes up doesn't go any higher and starts pulling back down but this was so obvious oh this astrology is just wonderful you can just trade without stress oh big what's this euro dollar this is also nice look at this this is the target zone remember that's your pst level if you're using our atam strategy that's called pricing guys to see things before they happen 1.0626 look at yesterday's video which i sent to people beforehand obviously we're looking to go short i said yesterday to get there 47 and that's 1.0627 market comes down to 1.0627 look at that beautiful okay now then at what time did that happen yesterday well this is 11 o'clock what did we have we had one o'clock, so that's 12 o'clock, one o'clock. One o'clock market opens here, right on the daily pivot underneath the white line. And th what's that telling you? It's telling you to sell me, please. Not to mention, remember, we're talking about going short yesterday into this zone. Okay, check out yesterday's video. you see what I'm talking about. We had a zone here, which I did mark. And then the market comes nicely into that zone. Exactly falling exactly at our astrological hours. What is that? This is three o'clock and this is four o'clock, as you can see. And as you can see, we've got 4.30 there. The market again at four o'clock here and just tumbling down into what? Into six o'clock. That's your six o'clock bar coming right down and then moving up into what into your eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock there nice little bounce obviously what you needed to do was sell and take your profit here and that was it nothing else if you do astrology with technical analysis you see this is just stress-free trading because you just know what's going to happen oh look at that that's us 30. now we're expecting the market to come down into this zone at what time did that do that? It's 4.30. Remember, we're always looking out for New York opening when we do indices, right? Because they like to do these little ups and downs in the opening. And then if it goes up first, they'd like to sell it at an expensive price normally. That's the normal norm. And the market goes up, as you can see, after 4 o'clock, ticks up there and then smashes down into your six o'clock you should have gotten out here on the weekly pivot because i did say weekly pivot need to be careful as you can see the market goes up from here that's the eight o'clock bar going up there towards yesterday's daily pivot again before it comes down but this should have been another nice trade for you 
Bitcoin. This was so obvious yesterday. I said, I also tweeted it, guys. If you're not following me on Twitter, I suggest it's not a bad idea to follow me on Twitter. All right. Because I'll tell you why I do post these little things, right? For example, what did I say? I said something about Bitcoin yesterday. Oh, here it is. You may get all hyped up with market commenters since Bitcoin shot up. I said, don't. They just got cleaned out. They just cleaned out stops and will push down to clean out the buy stops. Now this I posted at 5.44 p.m. All right. This was posted at 5.44 p.m. yesterday. So the market was like here at that time at five o'clock, right? So they don't, you know, don't, because we had a big hype, don't get in there starting to buy Bitcoin because I had a few guys also call me, should we buy now? Could they eat nuts? Because you can't buy when it's expensive. You got to buy when it's cheap, right? Not to mention our technical analysis told us we need to come down here. And the market came down. And along the way, we had target levels, which means you need to manage your trade, all right? So the market comes down nicely into this zone. Beautiful fill up, as you can see. Impulse wave, flag formation. Will this come down? It probably will, and we should, if you're day trading, right? And if you want to day trade Bitcoin, you can go short. And do that at the astrological hours I'm going to post today when I'm doing the daily video for today and the astrological hours. So any push up, you can push down later on as well. And we've got room, all right? So that was a fair warning yesterday. Um, after a few people wrote, I immediately put this up on there simply because, okay, I didn't want anyone to be a rush buyer because of that, you know, good push up in Bitcoin the day be from the day before. All right, let me just so so if you're not following me, it's, it might be a good idea if you I don't know, if you like if you want it, you can. All right, if it'll help you out. So that's that. All right, so you can see technical analysis and astrology need to work together. Now, some of you guys know, some of you don't know, but I'm using an ATAM strategy here automated technical analysis method and this thing does the technical analysis automatically and this is where we get pricing from so this is how i measure my targets like where are we going to come down to obviously i have technical analysis knowledge i'm not leaving things just to an indicator obviously not but the pst indicator measures time price and motion so it gives us that three-dimensional approach and wherever you know you can see where the prices are going you know once i mark a place that's like a target. So we understand where we're going and understanding where you're going is very important because that's where you're going to get out. Right? And if you understand the market's going to go there, then you know, you're know you a bit more stress-free, especially if you also realize that you know when the market is going to turn around. Not to mention, guys, I did say, I did say, um, the ter I did give the turning days off the market in the beginning of the week on Monday. And if you match this to SP500 NASDAQ, you will know that we've had swing days working in this direction. All right, so it all needs to be done before you enter the trade so you don't get any surprises while you're trading. All right, I hope that helps. And I hope you get a new perspective on how astrology can really help us trade because the world is not run by men. All right, the world is not run by humans. The world is run by the laws of nature. And the sooner you understand, the more balanced your life will be. And you won't go around getting stressed out, running like a headless chook. Right, have a good one.